Hi. In this video, we're going to talk about the global household in Clarity. First, we're going to talk about the concept of the global household. Then, we're going to see how to create a brand new global household. And finally, we're going to see how to join a client into an already existing household. So what exactly is the global household? The global household is the group of client profiles that are part of the same household. In other words, it is a household composition of client profiles. Before creating the global household, we need to verify that all the members that are going to be part of the household have their own client profile. So every single member of the household should have a client profile created in order to be added into the global household. So now let's see how to create a brand new global household. This is the scenario in which we want to add a client to a household with another client that is not member of any household neither. In other words, this is when we want to create a household with two members that are originally alone. So let's see the scenario with an example. Let's suppose we want to create the Simpson household. We want to add Marge into Homer's household and we want Homer to be the head of household. None of them are members of any household yet, and both have their own client profile. The first step is to open the client profile of the member that we want to set up as the head of household. So in this case, that will be Homer. So let's go ahead and open Homer's profile. Once we are in Homer's client profile screen, the next step is to click the Manage button next to Household Members. This will open the household management screen. And once we're here, the next step is to locate the client that we want to add to the household. So we need to locate March. And there are two ways in which we can do this. We can either look for her name under your recent client searches access list, which is a list of clients with whom I recently worked, or we can also use the search functionality under search for a household member and click on search. Either way is acceptable. After we locate March, we need to hover over her name and then click the Add button. This will open the Add to Household pop-up window. Once we're here, the next step is to select the member type from the dropdown. In this case, that will be wife. And then we need to select the start date. That is the date in which Homer and March started to be together in the household. And then we click Save. But just a clarification here, the member type is different from the relationship to head of household that we have in the project enrollment. This is a concept that we're going to discuss in a future video. And then we click Save. And that's it. We have officially created the Simpson household. If we go back to Homer's profile screen, we can see now that March Simpson appears underneath household members and also that she is his wife. And that's how we verify that we have successfully added her into the house. Now let's take a look at a second scenario. How to join a client into an already existing house. So let's say this with an example. Let's suppose we want to join Bart Simpson into the Simpson household. And as we already saw in the first scenario, the Simpson household has already been created and consists of Homer and Marge Simpson. So the first step in this case is to open the profile of the member who is joining the household. So let's go ahead and open Bart Simpson's profile. Once we are in his client profile screen, the next step is to click the Manage button next to Household Members. And as we saw in the first scenario, this will open the Household Management screen. Once we're here, the next step is to locate the head of household with whom we want to join BART. So we need to locate Homer. As we mentioned in the first scenario, we can do this by either looking for Homer under your recent client searches access list or by using the search functionality. However, 
One advantage of using the search functionality is that we can see information of the household under the client's name. So here we can see who the head of household is and how many members does the household have. We can see that the head of household is Homer and that currently the Simpson household have two members. So once we locate Homer, the next step is to hover over his name and then click the Join button. This join button is displayed next to clients that are already member of an existing household. Note that the add button that we mentioned in the first scenario is only displayed next to members who are not members of any household. So having the add button or having the enjoy button in the household management screen is a way in which we can differentiate clients that are already part of a household from clients that are alone. So now let's go ahead and click the join button. This will open the join household pop-up window. And once we're here, the next step is to select the member type and then select the start date. As we already see before, the start date is the date in which Homer, Bart, and March are starting to be in a household together. The next step will be click on save. And that's it. We have officially joined Bart into the Simpson household. If we return to Bart's profile screen, we can see that Homer, March are under household members, and that confirms that those three members are part of the global household together. In this video, we talked about the concept of global household, which is the household composition of client profiles. Then, in our first scenario, we saw how to create a brand new household by creating the Simpson household with Homer and Marge Simpson. And finally, in the second scenario, we talked about how to join a client into an already existing household. We saw that by joining Bart Simpson into the Simpson household. Note that the process of the first and the second scenario is very similar. The difference is that in the first scenario, both clients were alone. So we use the add button to add March into Homer's household. And that was the way in which we created the brand new Simpson household. On the other hand, in the second scenario, the household was already created. So we used the join button to join Bart into the already existing Simpson household. And that is how we create and add members into a global household. Thank you and see you in the next video.